Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling about you, um, their next actions, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just keep in mind, this is a general reading. Not everything will resonate with you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, remember the energy is fluid, so the roles could be reversed. Um, cross watchers, you're welcome here. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. If you're coming back, welcome back. And let's get right into this. Please show me how is Gemini's person feeling about them? How is Gemini's person feeling about them? Oh, okay. So the four pentacles flipped out there. So I feel like this person wants to hold on to whatever situation you have going on, or they might even be holding back. Um, okay, I feel like the holding back might be more applicable. <laughs> so we have Earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this person's undecided. Um, I'm curious about this Three of Pentacles because the Three of Pentacles can indicate wanting to work together as a team. Um, but with this Two of Swords, I'm, I'm feeling like it could be a different energy here. Let's see. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles for how this person feels about Gemini. I feel like they're holding back they're not saying what they want to say or they're not acting they're not taking action i'm curious about this three of pentacles so tell me about the three of pentacles spirit or how this person feels about gemini they could feel like you're holding back and you're indecisive about where to take this relationship next okay i hope that was caught um it flipped and then i kind of like pressed it back i'm gonna see if it comes out but i did see the three of swords so this could be a third party situation. Um, there's been some pain involved, I feel. Okay, yeah, so the Three of Pentacles, um, we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy and the world here. So some sort of cycle has not closed out yet, I feel, or it's about to. Um, I just keep like I I'm that three of swords was just sticking out to me um could be a third party situation like I said and, and a third party isn't always cheating it could be you know a family member kind of getting in your person's ear or a friend or work kind of getting in the way um just take it how it resonates but with the three of swords energy um it does involve heartbreak so it could be a third party as in um, another individual like romantically okay so we also got the nine of cups the five of swords the two of pentacles we got quite a few over here i'm just going to leave those for a moment yeah i feel like this person's just juggling they're going back and forth um i feel like they do find wish fulfillment in this relationship with you some sort of aspect of it is really fulfilling for them you know maybe you guys have a really good time together when you go out or you're you're the type that can just netflix and chill and have a really good time where you know you facetime each other a lot there's some sort of aspect that they really do enjoy and i feel like they are holding on to um but they're juggling they're going back and forth between something um and the five of swords here speaks to you know it could be mind games um, telling you one thing, doing another, um, just juggling, sabotaging the connection because they can't make up their mind. Okay, we also got justice. So we have Libra energy here, the Hermit, Virgo energy, the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Cups.
Okay, so right in the middle of all of this is the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like someone here feels left out in the cold, feels abandoned by the connection. I feel like this is you, Gemini. Um, I feel like you've gone inwards. You're you're kind of you know retreating. Maybe you're you're not. You've you've retreated from this relationship or just in general. We all go through those those times where we just kind of like need to be by ourselves. You're trying to like balance out. Um, your life basically i feel like you know you're trying to just get back into balance you're trying to figure out what you need you're, you're guarded from this person i feel um and i feel like you're guarding your feelings you're guarding your heart with this queen of cups here because i feel like this person just juggles and like i said it could be another person or it could just be like bread you know i feel like they're breadcrumbing they're not giving everything they should be giving and it's making you feel like 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 abandoned like left out in the cold like they could have even ghosted you breadcrumbs are not fun right like when you feel something for someone especially or if they're even telling you you know they feel a certain way and then they it's like they say one thing and then they do another Tell me about this person's actions in the immediate future towards Gemini. Some people breadcrumb for like an ego boost, right? Okay, so we got the Emperor, Aries energy here. I feel like this person, hold on. I feel like, they're, like there's like an aspect of control that they really like. The Knight of Pentacles, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is their actions in the immediate future. They're coming in slowly. Um, and they're coming in, in like they want the, the situation to be under their control in the sense that like, like they're planning, I feel. Like they're planning what to say, how, how to say it. We're gonna find out their intentions, but they just, I feel like they, this person likes to control the situation. Like they like to, They like to say and do certain things and kind of be able, feel like they're able to predict the outcome. This person could be highly anxious, but just hide it really well. Tell me more about this person's actions in the immediate future towards Gemini, please, Spirit. Okay, so we got the Knight of Wands and the Four of Wands. So yeah, they're coming in slowly. They want to control the situation. So they're going to be like in and out. Like they're not, it's like the breadcrumbs. Like I'm saying, like I feel like they, there's something about this relationship they do really enjoy. But some sort of cycle, and it could have been with, you know, maybe they're separated but not divorced or maybe, um, you know, they're transitioning into a position at work that puts them in a higher level and they're just so super busy. Like again, third party could, is not always um, another person that they're like cheating on or like, you know, involved with romantically, but there's just something else that is calling their attention more and it, it's causing them, not causing them because they have choices, but like it's leading them to like breadcrumb you and like feel like they're undecided about you and they juggle and they they just don't give it all and so their immediate actions are going to be again like they like the control of the situation they like no like being able to kind of predict about what's going to happen so they're going to come in slowly but then this knight of wands is also like the knight of wands is like the player right like here today gone tomorrow telling you how much they care about you one day and then the next day kind of like ghosting um but but this four of wands is here it's like they want stability with you they want to build something with you but they want to be able to control it i mean again like i said that need, the need for control is um one of the presenting symptoms of anxiety i feel like this person could be an anxious individual where like maybe they have so much going on that when they breadcrumb you, when they message you, knowing you'll message back, 
it like makes them feel like they're in control in one aspect of their life at least or something like that that's what i'm feeling you just got the four of cups as well so two fours back to back this is interesting tell me more about the four of cups spirit the sun I feel like this is gonna kind of like come out of nowhere to you. Like I feel like you're you're the you're the figure here. Kind of sometimes this card can be you know boredom, um, or like you know a missed opportunity. But I feel like this is this person coming in with this offer that you're kind of not expecting, and it's. I mean they want this happiness with you. Like I was saying, like the nine of cups came out earlier, which, which is like wish fulfillment. It's like asking a genie, like, you know, what do you want in a relationship? And they, there's something about this relationship or just this relationship as a whole that they find very fulfilling. And there's a lot of happiness here, a lot of, you know, um, lighthearted energy, I feel. But again, they're gonna come in and like, it's like they're testing the waters. It's like they, they want it to go how they want it to go. Instead of just like spilling their guts to you, for instance, the first time they message, they're 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 gonna say something like, Hey, you know, I really miss you and I miss when we did this together and like let's catch up soon and you're like, Yeah, okay, sure, like that sounds great, we can catch up and then the next day like you just like don't hear from them at all. Which is annoying. Right, but I feel like it has to do with this person wanting to control the situation. Like they don't want to dive in too quickly. Tell me more about this emperor. Tell me more about this emperor for this person's actions. The emperor is also, yeah. Okay, yeah, see? Okay. So this emperor has experienced this this betrayal and this this lying and this sneaking around gemini libra aquarius energy here and it, it, not necessarily with you gemini that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying this emperor has gone through this so they're only coming forward with like that little bit like i'm saying like a page like oh hey what's up you know and with that also that energy of the knight of wands and like slowly too with the knight of pentacles Like the whole reason they're coming towards you as a page is because of this. The Seven of Swords is all about sneaking, lying. Like they could have an ex relationship that just did a number on them. And so they're coming really slowly towards you. And just as like a little baby page, like, hey, you know, breadcrumbing maybe not intentionally, but breadcrumbing them nonetheless, right? And if this person still needs to heal from whatever this might be, it can also be that you've experienced this. I'm getting another story of this person could be this Seven of Swords and this Ten of Swords energy. For for some of you, I feel like they're gonna come off as they're. They, they're, they're lying, they're sneaky, they're shady, there's just like something off, you know what I mean? Like they come off, like they wanna hurt you almost, like they, like they just don't care about your feelings. That's for some of you out there. Let's see their intentions, this will give us a better idea. What is this person's intentions towards Gemini? What is this person's intentions towards Gemini? Thank you for the messages so far, Spirit. What is this person's intentions towards Gemini? The Empress. So they're coming towards you as the Emperor, and their intention is the Empress, wanting to be that divine match, wanting to be the divine masculine and the divine feminine together. But they, there's just an aspect of them that's like, Again, the control, like it's it's coming off as very, the emperor is like a boss, right? Like they know what they want. They walk into a room and they're like, okay, this is how it's gonna go. And it's not, a, it doesn't always seem controlling. It just seems like they're in control of the situation in the sense that like, okay, they know what they're doing. But the energy I'm feeling is like this person needs to control the situation because they don't want it to go a certain way. Like they, they're, they're fearful of, they're anxious about 
it going a certain way. But this is this is their intention. Their intention is abundance, nurturing the connection. You know, um, the Empress is like mother nature, like we all need her, <laughs> you know? And this isn't male or female, it's just the energy. What is this person's intentions? Tell me more. Tell me more about this person's intentions. Knight of Cups, yeah, see? Like they wanna come in and offer their cup of love. They do. They want something with you. You know, whether this is someone you've already connected with and separated from, you know, when, it, when you're watching these readings, you know exactly who, who it is. It's the person that's first on your mind. And if I say something and you're like, well, that's exactly like so-and-so, that's, that's who this is about, right? They want to come forward as the Knight of Cups here. Pisces, Scorp uh, Scorpio, Cancer energy here. Um, yeah, they want to offer the cup of love. Their intention is to, is to make this work, is to nurture this, is to be together as a divine pair. Tell me more about their intentions. Ace of Swords to talk, to provide clarity. Perhaps they're gonna start, they're gonna tell you, listen, someone like really fucked me up in the past. And this is why I feel like I haven't been giving you everything I needed, or you needed. My sorry, my mistake. You know, and it's up to you, Gemini, whether or not you forgive this person or you 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 understand where they're coming from, right? Their intention is to talk about it and to offer this cup of love, right? That's what they're, that's what they want to do, but they might come off as like, they're not Aries energy, taking a leap of faith, wanting this with you. I'm seeing um, the death card at the bottom, transformation. Yeah, their intention is to take a leap of faith with you, to start something new, to leave the past behind, to be, you know, communicate clearly, to come in with this cup of love. And the Knight of Cups is like someone who comes in and like, you know, with flowers or with chocolates or with your favorite food and is like, can we sit down? Like, let's talk, like, let's do this. You know what I mean? Like, um, very romantic, very loving, loving gestures out of nowhere too. Like just doing it because they just care. That's what they want to do. This is their intention with you. But their immediate actions are saying they're they're going to kind of be in and out. They're going to like I feel like they're just fearful. And if you think otherwise, Gemini, if you're watching, you're just like, "No, this person's not fearful. They're just a player." Then then maybe that's not the energy I'm picking up on, right? Or you know best. Like if you're like, "No, this person's just an a-hole." Then like, you know, then just you know, you choose what to do. Maybe walking away is the best situation, but this person's intentions is to do it right, I guess. But they're just, they're not, their immediate actions are gonna come off like they're they are just kind of like halfway in, halfway out. So if you can see past that and you can intuitively feel it, if you can feel, because you, you guys are coming out as a divine pair, remember, the emperor and the empress. If you can feel that their actions aren't actually what they what they are feeling and you can see past it and be like, okay, yeah, okay. Um, text me this day, but not the next day. Okay, I know that's really just you being fearful and you know, you being trying to control the situation. I'll wait for you to come around because they are gonna come, it, it is gonna be slow for them to offer this solid offer, right? Then, then, if this person's worth the wait, then then they're worth the wait. If you're like, absolutely not, then walk away. Like no one can tell you what's best for you to do, right? I'm just reading the energy. I'm just letting you know what, what's coming up for you. But let's see the potential outcome because that might make a difference. What's the potential outcome for this connection with Gemini and this person? I feel like I might need to go to the other deck because, but we'll just see what comes out. What's the potential outcome for Gemini and this person? Okay, so I'm getting to, again, there's two energies here. Eight of Cups, walking away. And then I'm also getting this here. Two of Cups, union, coming together, Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is all about like puppy love, you know, I think reminiscing, nostalgia, going back to the good old days, remembering those moments and recreating them. The magician is manifesting. So I feel like there's 
like the magician has everything in front of him or her. It's just a male on the, on the figure, but you know what I mean. The magician has everything in front of them, all the tools, the cups, the swords, the wands, the pentacles, all the tools. The magician has everything. They can manifest whatever they want. So I feel like if you're thinking and thoughts become things, if you're thinking, I'm going to walk away, I can't do this, or, you know, it's not worth it, then that's exactly what's going to happen, right? If you manifest this union with this person, because that's their intention, that's what they want, then it can be this, it can be the, the you know, two of cups is soulmate energy, right? And I can't, I, again, I can't help but notice these, these, this divine pair, right? It's all up to you, Gemini. No one can tell you what's the right thing to do. Only you know what's best for you. It could also be this Eight of Cups, you know, this person finally walking away from, and not physically, but leaving the past in the past. Because the Eight of Cups is all about leaving what's, what no longer emotionally serves you. So this could be you. This, this connection no longer emotionally serves me. This person's taking too long. See you later. That's okay. There's plenty of fish in the sea and your journey is your journey. There's no wrong decisions. It could also be this, this person saying, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm walking away from this and this, whatever hurt me in the past. And I'm going to move forward with Gemini, right? Let's pull a card on it. What is this eight of cups for the potential outcome? What is the eight of cups for the potential outcome? Thank you. Yeah, walking away from the mental prison, eight of swords, walking away from the mental prison of overthinking. This person just has to take off the blindfold and realize there's not really much going on around them. The water is really shallow. There's no one around them. They're safe, but they've put up this wall and the swords are thoughts, right? Like their thoughts are almost like, like keeping them prison, imprisoned. And this is two eights back to back. Pay attention to synchronicities. When syn this is the now the second synchronicity. When synchronicities, d double, triple numbers that you are seeing, don't ignore those. When there's a divine connection like this, the universe starts to sync up and you start to feel it, right? I mean, the universe is always in sync, but you know what I mean? Like you start to see it more. What advice do you have for Gemini regarding this connection spirit? What advice do you have for Gemini? What advice do you have for Gemini spirit? Thank you. Okay, so if you do if you do want to go for this, just start small. You know, if they're if they're kind of giving you, I'm seeing the ten of cups at the bottom. If you're if they're giving you just like a hey, how are you? Then just give them a hey, how are you? You know, I wouldn't say j like dive into it like jump into it right away. Cause they're, I feel like they're coming in slow. They're gonna take their time with this. And if you're, if you're like, okay, that's fine. I'm willing to wait, then just take it slow too. You know, do your own thing. Focus on whatever you've been focusing on. That's a lot, yeah. I'm not gonna take those because I feel like that, would, that, that popped out when it shouldn't have. Um, okay, let's see what angel answers we have. That just fell. Meditation brings answers. We'll see if that comes out. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini regarding this connection? Thank you. Yes. So if you were asking yourself something throughout this reading, Spirit's saying yes. That's only for like a few of you, I feel. I feel like this one wants to come out. Don't stop. I think that goes back to that manifestation. Our thoughts become things, right? Whatever energy you put out there has to come back to you. It's law, literally law of attraction. If you haven't watched The Secret on Netflix, watch The Secret. It's a great starting place for understanding manifestation and law of attraction, creating your own reality. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Gemini regarding this situation with this person? I don't know if anything else. Oh, okay. Ask your angels. Mm-hmm. That seems like such a weird thing to do, right? Maybe not, 
But for those of you who are who are not used to, like, if you're sitting there like, what do you mean ask my angels? Prayer. Um, I was told by a, a very good spiritual friend that talk to your guides and your angels just like you would a friend. You know, ask for guidance. Um, and you'll get answers in different ways. You just have to pay attention. So, for instance, one of the things I like to do is I live in a, in a very busy downtown uh, city. So when I'm walking, I see lots of cars. But, you know, a purple car, for instance, isn't as common as a black car. So I'll, I'll say, literally this happened last week. Universe, you know, if this is meant to happen, please show me a purple car. And then you just kind of like let it go. And then literally a couple hours later, I, I was with a friend and I was like, is that car purple? Because it was kind of like a purpley, like reddish. And she was like, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's a purple car. And she had no idea why I was asking. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> Thank you, universe. Right? I had never seen that car before. I walk all the time, never seen that shade of that car before. So some people might be like, oh, that's weird. That's like not, that's a coincidence. But that's how the universe can, like communicates with you. That's how your angels would communicate with you. They give you signs in different ways, right? Talk to them like they're a friend. Talk to the universe, your angels, your guides like they're your friend. Ask for signs, ask for answers, and you'll get them. You just have to pay attention, right? Because if I had been on my phone and didn't look up and see that car, then I would have missed the, sig the sign, right? That's just like what I, like, the, I'm just sharing like what I've learned along the way. Do whatever feels good for you. If, you know, just, just being in prayer and being, you know, being quiet and you know, whatever that looks like for you then do that whatever feels good for you there's no wrong way to ask your angels and your guides and the universe for guidance right spirit what messages do you have for gemini regarding this connection thank you what do you need to release so like again that could be the your person releasing the past you know it could be you if something is going on between between you and this person, or some, something has, or even the fact that they're breadcrumbing. You kind of you kind of have an idea why now they are, and with um, understanding brings peace, right? You don't have to be with them, like I said. You could walk away, um, but it could also mean releasing the need for them to do it how you want to do it how you want them to do it rather right like if you want them to come in and you know shower you with love and, and tell them how you feel and this person is just not used to doing that emotionally they're not ready to do that yet and they just need some time that could be spirit saying you know release the need to control that Re release you know you know what i'm saying i feel like it's this person needing to release the past too just take it how it resonates whoa that's way too many okay spirit any other messages for gemini What other messages do you have for Gemini spirit? Prosperity lies ahead. Beautiful. Adjustments are required. Okay, so yeah, that could be like, again, expectations. Don't let your past hold you back. I had a feeling this one was going to come out. It's very fitting, right? It makes sense. We all have a past and sometimes it's harder to get over some things than, than others, right? We can't, you know. You know if this connection is worth it, Gemini, right? It's your situation. You know what what it looks like for you. You know what, what you know, is best for you. There's no wrong decisions in this world, right? Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini regarding this connection? What messages do you have for Gemini regarding this connection, please? Thank you for the messages so far. Thank you. Big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, visionary, inspired ideas. Yeah, taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture is never a bad thing for any situation, right? Um, it just allows you to see that, like, sometimes these chapters in our life, they're just like a blip, right? Like, it's like some chapters last a month some six some a year but they're nonetheless they're the same like the only constant in this world is change right like things are always changing so like 
big picture thinking if this person just needs some time and you're like okay that's fine or like maybe you need to walk away for now and come back to it later or whatever in the grand scheme of things what does it mean you know okay so we have i remember soul plan the faded life versus the destiny life i'm i'm feeling called to read this i don't usually read from this book but i'm going to because i just feel like i need to okay there was a moment before you were born when you chose the conditions of life you're living right now when you plotted out these exact moments along the timeline of your life we live in a world of free will, and therefore these moments become our destiny only through saying yes. <laughs> the faded life is the one we were born into. The destiny life is the one our soul chooses, and it takes courage and faith. If you pull this card, it's because you're likely now face to face with the choice to follow the destiny life over the faded life to trust the path your soul is calling you toward and to remember that this moment was prearranged on your life's timeline. You may find yourself at a crossroads at a moment when you're being called to make a decision to keep walking the perfectly laid out path before you or choose the one less traveled. You may be facing a change of career, a new relationship, a difficult decision or something else that requires courage and faith. You're being invited to remember your soul's greater plan and to surrender to it. When you're confronted with a path that's undefined, it's normal for doubt to rear its head. In fact, this is a certain sign that you're facing your soul's greater plan. Every hero in his or her life journey comes eye to eye with doubt. The only way around it is through it. It's all part of the larger plan. Yeah, I feel like that was perfect, right? Like I've been saying, there's no wrong decisions. And I feel like if this you'll make the right decision no matter what that is right okay gemini i hope something here resonated with you if it did please like share subscribe i'd love to have your energy here on my channel with me thank you so much for being here today i hope the rest of your day or your evening um, is wonderful and love and light